Hey everyone, this is Bionly Badass here, and welcome to Dream Daddy Dead Director's Cut. Specifically, this is the secret ending, which I have unlocked much earlier, and it seems there's only a very specific way to get it. I had been trying all day to get tied different combinations, till I finally forgot which one it was. But basically, you should be able to figure out pretty easily if you think of Joseph and his likes. So when I put these settings in, because Jimmy Buffett is something you would think of when you think Joseph, I heard a weird evil music. Give me this nightmare. Hey Lily, you're from the secret path that you work really hard to get. You're pretty clever, so you'll make the conditions. Give me this nightmare. So I was trying to make this character before, but I kept trying to make a young Jimmy Buffett and it wasn't working. So then I said to make old Jimmy Buffett, and that finally worked. Hey, Reggie, put this in the game because we're big horror fanatics. We cut it. Snowman gives stumble on accident. Oh, what time is it? Must have been asleep for ages. Being bit Jimmy Buffett and all. I wonder what will happen now that Mary is gone. What about Joseph's kids? And how will Amanda feel all about this? Well, we have each other. That's what matters. I guess time will tell, right? Better get up and greet the day. Wait. I... Am I tied up? What the hell? How did I get here? What's going on? You're stuck in a secret ending. Joseph. Anybody. Don't panic. You're probably just dreaming. Why would there be a... A dungeon? An evil dungeon? Why would there be an evil dungeon here? This can't be real. Maybe I had too much Twilight Rouge. I'm... Dreaming or something. Oh, this isn't a dream. I see someone at the end of the hall. It's just a shape. I can barely make out any features. Who's there? Can you untie me? You can try tracking up if you'd like. I'll even pinch you if you're into that. Please, I... I don't know how I got here. I think there's been a mistake. You... trust me, right? I mean... Why wouldn't you? Joseph! Jesus! Seriously, what is this? Are you into this kind of thing? I wish you had warned me. I'm not really into, you know, the evil preacher roleplay. We ain't playing Castlevania. Into this kind of... Ha! Ha ha! I always liked you, Jimmy. Goal-oriented, anchored by family. The rock in a shallow sea. And down to the pound, if you catch my meaning. I had a whale of a time last night. I get it. Whale. We talked extensively about whales last night. You don't really like them. You're not in a joking mood. I get that. His voice is different. The whole situation is different. The way he's talking, it's... Dastardly. Sadistic. It can be both. Throw another one in there. Raffle. That's one's good. Wait. How did he... I'm very perspective. A good listener. I heard all those impure thoughts. Jimmy. And about a married man, no less. I'm pretty sure that's a sin. Who are you? I told you. I'm a cool youth minister. Have you seen my tattoos? Were you even watching me tear it up on the dance floor? You used to be a lot more fun. Well, hi, my name is Joseph. I have an alcoholic wife whose life I destroyed. Poor Mary. And their kids. Joseph laughs. My kids. Those aren't my kids. Well, they are my kids, in a way. Cosmically. I guess you could call them... Vessels. And in that case, I guess that technically makes me not a dad. Whoops. Sorry to kill that little fantasy for you. Joseph, this is insane. So the whole minister thing. That's just a front for this weird sex do Joseph starts laughing hysterically. He wipes a tear from his eye. Oh, that's so cute. You think this is a sex thing? I mean... It's kind of a sex thing. The safe word is Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy, there are powers at work so far beyond your understanding that the very idea that I would sink to some half-baked sex game is a little insulting. All that religion mumbo-jumbo wasn't entirely false. I am a man of the cloth, just not the cloth you're thinking of. I am the conduit for something beautiful, Jimmy. 
something pure, and you have the honor of being part of it. Listen, I know that sounds kinda hokey, but stick with me. I promise I'll get back to being relatedly cool in a second. Where you really are is under the house. Or I guess, under the houses. The houses? Are we under the cul-de-sac? Hey, the dut of reasoning points for Jimmy. I didn't know we know it's a dungeon underneath the town. Somebody would have had had to. We're all too busy being sexy dads. That's our problem. Sexy dad distraction. All dead. Everyone who figured it out, that is. And it's not a dungeon. Dungeons are for old castles and twelve-year-olds. This place is... How would I describe it? Inhabiting many spaces. The betweens of the world. The gaps in mathematics. It's quite simply beyond you, I'm afraid. Just think of it as the real Margarita Zone. This is too much. My head hurts. Jimmy, ever wonder why all the wives and husbands in town went? Why everyone's an eligible single father? I just thought it was a coincidence. Nothing's a coincidence, idiot. No town in America has such a concentration of eligible, willing dads. And do you want to know why? I don't know if I do, Joseph. Because of me. Because of my work. Because of my loyalty. Loyalty? You're insane. You enslave men's souls. The same can be said of all religions. Profoundly. How many couples have I pushed to divorce? How many wives and husbands have I hunted in the dark? Wait, Amanda's father. Alex, it can't be. I, unfortunately, can't take credit for that one. It seems Andrew will be beating me to that punch. I don't know if that's a real leaf or not. But man, what if I had? The look on your face would have been priceless. Maple Bay is a psychic beacon of unfathomable power, but it requires sacrifice. It needs to feed on those deep, unquenchable pangs of anguish. And all to get these very good friends of ours here, in my town, in my father's town, and his father's before him, hunting for human touch, praying for the salvation of kindness. I don't understand. No, seriously, I don't understand. Of course you don't. You were out there gallivating about, seducing all the hottest single dads, meddling in something of which you have no understanding, a greatness you could not conceive. Out there, in the dark of the sea, lies something that has been waiting to return for a hundred million years. It showed the path to my ancient ancestors as it has shown the path to me. And I will harvest the sorrow of each dad whose life I had destroyed until the shame and stink of their failures has returned to our eternal king to life. The fuel of a hundred thousand ranked darknesses of the soul. Wow. Do you have anything you'd like to say? This one hell of a Lovecraftian roleplay. I'm also gonna make a save point. What about Amanda? It's just kidding. You don't get to choose. I know you're used to being in control here. But now it's my turn. And don't worry yourself about Amanda. If you touch her... Please, Jimmy. Give me some credit. Look at my pedigree. If I do my job, I won't even have to. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's some other business I need to attend to. Your dear friend Robert has been awfully worried about you. I think it's about time that miserable drunk gets one last visit from the Dover Ghost. So you're the Dover Ghost! This is a nightmare. A beautiful nightmare. Wouldn't you agree? All along, you've been living a dream. Daddy. Registered trademark. Now it's time to wake up. Oh man, this is bad. This is very bad. How long was I out? When is he coming back? How do I get out of here? My hand slips over my mouth. Don't say anything. No, don't even think about anything. Who's there? It's okay, Jimmy. It's me. I'm gonna get you out of here. She kneels down and starts working on the ropes around my ankles. 
I gotta be honest, I didn't like you at first. I guess I did try to break up your mi- Shh. Shut up for once. Look, truth is I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for the both of us. I don't think you're a bad person despite what you may think of me. I don't want to end like this. Not again. I raised my eyebrows at her. Come on, who do you think lived in that house before you? I... Don't think about it. Not right now. He's coming. Run like hell, kid. Mary finishes on timing and disappears. I have to get out of here. I bolt from the chair and run as fast as I can down the hallway outside of my holding cell. Eventually I ran out of breath. I can't keep spraying, not with these dad knees. Damn my dad knees. I check myself. All I have are the clothes on my back and this thing in my pocket. The pocket knife that Robert gave me. If I have to defend myself, this is all I have. Looking ahead of me, I can't see the end of the hallway. It bends further up there. I look back and can't even see where I started. I guess the only thing I can do is keep going and hope there's a way out of the other end. If there is another end. The hallway bends and twists. Sometimes it gets smaller to the point where I have to crawl my hands and knees to get through. Sometimes it expands into a great cavern where I can't even see the ceiling. I see no way out other than to keep moving forward. I don't know how long I've been walking, but my body aches with soreness. I'm long past dehydration. My head is pounding. My vision is blurred. I lean up against the walls of the hallways for support. It's still here I am. I've been walking for what I think must be days. It could be weeks, months. The oxidation has sunk in my bones. I drift in and out of consciousness. I think I've slept, if you can call it sleep. My dreams are plagued with nightmares of being chased down this hallway. I see Joseph's kids. They hide in the shadows. They're coming to drag me back to Joseph. Oh God, Joseph. I can see his face so clearly in those dreams. I don't know why I keep moving, why I keep placing one foot in front of the other. My clothes are tattered and my shoes have worn through. My hell is inescapable. Until... It's... A door. A door at the end of the dead end of the hallway. I placed my hand on the knob, seeing for the first time my gnarled fingernails and stretched. Papery skin. I open the door and walk through. Oh look, it's my house. And look, it's the, the upbeat music, unless it's all a dream. I'm in my house. How did that... Life has many doors. Dad! Men are rushing into the room, wrapping their arms around me in a ferocious bear hug. Hey. Where have you been? Are you okay? I tried calling you like 30 times. Uh, uh Amanda. Mm -hmm. What happened? The boat break down or something? Oh, uh, I, um... Ah. You know what? I'm just glad you're home. I look down at myself in my clothes. They're... They're... My shoes are on, my fingernails aren't gnarled. I feel... Fine. I hug Amanda again. Nothing has ever felt this good in my entire life. I have to choke back tears of relief. Amanda. I'm... So glad to see you. You have no idea. Wow. When I did see? You didn't see a whale, did you? You poor thing. What's with us in Wales? No whale could keep me from my daughter. You're damn right. Mm. You know what? You need breakfast. A very greasy breakfast. You know, the part that's gonna reveal this is all a dream. There was actually a Lovecraft uh, adaptation movie or something that actually had that exact thing happen. And they're in the dungeon and then they wake up. And they're still in there. That sounds amazing. Amanda skips out of the room. This is all so confusing. Was it a dream? By the way, is it okay if Emma P comes over tonight? Emma P? Is that the girl you don't like? You know, my best friend. Oh, sure. Wait. I thought... Is it Emma R, your best friend? She has red hair, you do art together, you pooped in her bed during that sleepover one time? Alright, my mistake. Ugh, teenager brain, you know. I sit down on the couch, suddenly very exhausted. All I want is to have a big plate of hash browns with my daughter by my side while I quietly work on my word jumbles. I reach over to the coffee table and grab my trusty book of jumbles. This is... This is a crossword puzzle. It's a cross... It's, it's gonna be the cross. It's gonna hint at it. I stare at it for too long. Hey, Amanda! Amanda pops her head in from the kitchen. Working hard on these eggs, Dad Tron. If you want a perfect over medium, I gotta be in the zone. When's your birthday? Oh. Why? Did you get me something? No. Seriously. When's your birthday? 
Uh, my birthday? Dad, really? Do I have to answer this? I see a lot of weird stuff today, Amanda. Humor me. Mm. My birthday is... It's... You're not Amanda. Uh. Nothing gets past you, huh? You know, I almost had you there go in there for a sec. Was it the crossword puzzle I gave it away? You know I tried so hard to nail the details. Like cooking you breakfast over meeting makes with hash browns? Come on. That's so you. And my Amanda impression? I really think I stuck the landing on an irrelevant yet wholesome tone. The whole manic pixie dream daughter thing. I should have been on Broadway of these chops. I feel like you're not appreciating how much work I've put in here. Cracks begin to form along the walls around me. I look down and see the floor collapsing in tiles. As the walls crumble, I see where I truly am. Almost got away, huh? So the dream of being dragged back by the kids was no dream. I don't know how you got all those ropes. You're a crafty one, are you? Mary. Oh, right. Mary. She's rocking the tag team with you, isn't she? Funny. Here I was thinking marriage was about trust. You know, I thought I was going to take care of Robert. But now, here you are trying to make your little escape, and honestly, Jimmy, you're just killing my whole timeline here. Wait, Robert. As quick as I can, I pull his folding knife out of my pocket, and lunge for Joseph, throwing all my force into him. Joseph knocks the knife on my hand. It skewers across the room. I knew I should have played more Melancholy solid. Oh, man. Jimmy. I thought we were cool. I thought we had a thing here. What happened to the margarita zone? Well, sorry, bud, but I guess I'm gonna have to do you dirty. Doing you dirty means I have to kill you. You know, not the other thing. You know, stuff you actually enjoy. Joseph wraps his hand around my neck, smiling as he ties his grip. Mary! What's wrong? You were so into this last night. I have no strength left to fight him. This is it, isn't it? The world goes quiet around me. All I can think about is Amanda. I miss her so much. I'm sorry, Amanda. I love you more than anything. Please be good. <laughs> Mary! Joseph's eyes go wide. He releases his grip on me and I gasp in air. He turns around. It's over, Joseph. Oh, honey, sweetie, you stabbed me. You stole so much of my life from me. Joseph backs away from Mary, clutching the moon on his shoulder. S sweetheart, we can work this out. I'm done with you. Father. Quick speaks out from the doorway behind Mary. He looks different, evil. Behind him are Christian, Christy, and Krish, who all creep into the room. No. Father, we're so hungry. Won't you feed us, Father? Mm. Mary turns to me and holds out a hand. Oh. Hey, sailor. It's time to go. The children corner Joseph as I crawl on Mary pulls me into the hallway. I look back into the room as a horror. I, I escaped. I, it's... The more I look at, the more it seems to break my mind. I turn away, my head pounding. This body is but a conduit. Mary, I'll see you in your nightmares. What the hell? Here's the other secret daddy. That should be Sal, going by the original leaks. My eyes open, I shoot in bed, gras gasping for air. Dad! Man leaps off the chair in my room and attacks me with a hug. Amanda! This is the best hug of my life. I was so worried about you. I'm so happy to see her again. Wait. Amanda. What's your birthday? Dad, did you forget again? Amanda? It's March 22nd. You got me a record player and we ate ice cream cake at the beach. And I dropped the ice cream cake and got sand all over it. Remember? I... I remember that. A panda. I miss you so much. What... What happened? Oh. You don't remember? The ox sank. The rescue crews had to pull you out of the water. That was a few days ago. Where's Joseph? Aww. They found something in the yacht wreckage. Some documents that showed he was embezzling funds from the church. Nobody's seen him since. Mm. Was it all a dream? Or was it not a dream? Then it just became a dream after the fact. 
Is there a detective here who's been walk waiting to talk to you? He's nice, but he's drinking all of our coffee. A bastard. Let me go grab him. Wait. Yeah? Amanda. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too, Dad. Amanda skips out of the room, and a moment Mary enters with... The guy still in the hallway. Rise and shine, bucko. Mary, are you okay? You know, it was a real shame what happened to Joseph. I had no idea what he was doing when he was doing in the church, and I can't believe he ran once the feds showed up. Leave me to take care of our four beautiful children on my own. Maybe it was just all a dream. But don't worry. I'm just staying with my parents out in the Midwest till this all blows over. Mary stares at me, waiting for me to say something. Mm. Good answer. Glad to see you both got your story straight. I'm happy you're okay. I was worried about you. Thanks, Mary. Mary cracks a smell before turning and leaving my room. Make it sleazy, fellas. Once the door closes, a man pulls up a chair and sits next to my bed. You don't know me. I know a lot about you, Jimmy. I've been keeping tabs on you for a while. Who are you? Uh. Graves. Detective Saul Graves. There's a strange and mysterious force that would work here in Mabel Bay. What you saw down there. What we both saw down there. I don't know if I'll ever forget. So it was real, they're just using the cover-up of the boat sinking. And I get the feeling that you won't be on too ever. But it's my job to get to the bottom of it. How do you want to join me from our spin-off, Dream Daddy X-Files version? So what does this mean for me? It means to live your life like none of this ever happened. Go be happy. Go raise your daughter. Go fall in love. Be well, Jimmy. Sal walks to the door of my bedroom and stops. He turns to me. And... I know it's hard to raise a kid as a single parent. Even I lost my wife under the mysterious circumstances. Uh. Barry and I have been on our own for a while now, and there was some one thing I learned through all of this. That us dads have to help each other out. Be cool if you're ever in danger. You get some rest. But if you're not doing anything later, maybe you can give me a call. So that is it for Dream Daddy, the director's cut. That was the secret ending, the Margarita Zone escape. So, there's dark powers at work, but basically it's debatably canon. It's more of a kind of finished off goofy ending to the series, and a little bit of a kind of Easter eggy kind of finisher. But yeah, that's it for my playthrough of Dream Daddy Director's Cut. Thank you all for watching me play the secret ending. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.